Hello, I'm Atsuba George and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Gloria George. And we started this yesterday and I, I believe you are being blessed already. Mm. And I trust the Spirit of God to help us reach out to you. Mm. The purpose of this broadcast is to see how God can use our experience to bless you. Now, because our experience has been good. Oh, that's the truth. It's been good. Yeah. And while we are speaking of our experience, is because we have been deliberate mm. to make sure our experience is in God. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, but before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Join me right now and make this request. Mm. Say, Father. Father. I demand right now. I demand right now. For my daily bread. For my daily bread. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I pray that angels will minister to your needs. Amen. I pray that God will raise men that will remember you today. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, so we 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 started sharing about okay how we how met and stressing yes. the fact that the foundation Show was in, in god yes now it's not just about oh lord i want to get married mm -hmm. you know show me that was the farthest thing in our uh, minds yes. then yes. but then i mean from today looking back mm -hmm. you can see the trail yeah you can see the trail and did i have any clue that this was going to be my wife back then Never, not even a strong, <laughs> not, not even a, a desire. You know, this kind of like, oh God, maybe you, not even a desire. Because now already, uh, you know how you already have a mental picture of the kind of person you yeah. should, mm -hmm. you know, get married mm -hmm. to. And not this baby then. I didn't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't close to <laughs> I wasn't close to it at all, seriously. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I remember even back then, you know, we used to talk about, you know, things like this, like even, you know, you would come and tell me, ah, this person, what do you think about this person? Yes. And, ah, this person qualifies to be your kind of person. Mm -hmm. yeah. All that I all wanted that. my father to be settled. He was <laughs> he was literally my father. Like, I used to call him my own father. Yeah. Yeah. I... I remember yesterday I talked about how that I had prayed to God. I had just talked to God. I wouldn't really call it like it was a prayer, it was a desire, but I, I voiced it out to God and I told him I needed a father. And like I said yesterday, at, as at the time that I met him, I, I didn't say then, I, I, I wasn't convinced then, or I didn't know then that he was going to be this father figure that I have always desired to have. But then it was in the process that that conclusion came. And I think it came, it hit me in that first semester because he cared for me. Now, this is me, a young girl leaving home with all the challenges back home, literally like in quotes, lost in life. And then you find out that someone is interested in you spiritually, in you growing interested in you being focused in school and then this person demands nothing from you because remember like i said i was running away at first because i had this check my mom had given me all the lecture <laughs> before leaving home and you know back in the days um, a lot of you in our age can relate that then you can't even maybe if you even talk to a man maybe you might even be pregnant just talking to that man it was that that's how our parents used to tell us back then so i had so many fears in life but somehow i used to hide it i used to front that i was confident that i knew who i was i know i knew where i was going to but i experienced the word of god in its raw form and it brought out the baby in me he brought out the fear in me because like he said yesterday, I was literally a baby. <laughs> but guess what? I wasn't like that before I got to school. I was very tough. I felt like I had it all together. I felt like I knew what I was doing. I felt like I knew where I was headed. But the word of God brought me to that realization that, hey, you cannot be tough in life without Christ. You 
cannot just feel like you know where you are going without Christ. I, I started digging into the word in its foundation mm -hmm. in everything that had to do with my life. And he was the guide. He helped me. There were times that I would talk to God about something and it will happen speedily. There were times that I would talk to God about something and it will not happen speedily. And I'll be calling, I'll disturb him. I used to bug him a lot. Like, why is it not happening? Why is it not happening? As you know, immediately I got saved. Like, you know, I started speaking in tongues. I was so excited about God. So many things were happening that month, like back to back, fast, 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 and all. So when, you know, I just got to realize that in working with God, you need He builds patience in you. He gives you a tenacity of faith. The faith that is resolute. The faith you that can't even you can't even work with God without learning patience. Yes. It's impossible. Yes. And he wants to see how you would keep yourself, how you would keep your confessions, how you will be firm, whether in plenty or in little. Yeah. I remember <coughs> seeing that scripture about Paul saying. I have, learned, I have to, learned to abase and I have also learned to abound. All these things were things I learned in fellowship. I always tell people that say, God took me to Syria to know about him personally. And he used my husband, then Pastor Tubo. He used so many leaders in fellowship. He used our pastor then as well, Pastor Ingos, Sister Lara, Sister Bogo. I can't say my success story today without these people. Sister Lala, Lara will literally like, Gloria, why are you crying? Go and pray in tongues. Ah. These people were passionate about God. These people were on fire. And sometimes I used to feel like they don't even understand. <laughs> why are you people so hard? You don't understand. And they loved me. But at the same time, they demanded the result of my faith. And that kept me focused. That kept me pressing. I remember our dance group then, mm -hmm. and dude, brother Austin was literally like, we used to call him my physical angel. I can mention a lot of people that God used to, mm -hmm. you know, so, bring out the, 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 uh, how should I put it? The, 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 the faith, the being a giant in faith, you know, and all of that. And, by the time I realized that, okay, this is my father. It was something I took very literally. Everywhere I go, you will not know me and not hear my dad. I usually used to call him daddy. <laughs> my dad, my father. I will save it on my own phone. My own father. I remember the first day you saw it. <laughs> my own father. You were like, ah. I'm, in my mind, I was like, this man does not understand though. You have taken up a huge task. And you know, it confirmed to me that this is my father. So as, as at the time when he now said, God said, you should marry me. Okay, let me even rewind to when uh, I was supposed to come work with you mm -hmm. after, uh, I think the break before NYSC. No, yeah. And then <coughs> I remember you telling, asking me that, you know, <laughs> I don't have any fixed salary for you. I don't have a church. I'm just following God as he's leading. And I'm like, I remember you also asked me that, is it because you don't have where to go or you don't know what to do that you want to come work with me? Yeah. I said, no, I heard God. It didn't look logical. Even I did not think it was logical for me, but in the process, I had learned to follow that voice. You know, as I grew up in faith, I realized that this voice has actually been guiding me right from childhood, childhood yeah. was actually God. So I actually just had a personal relationship with God. It's just I did not know what no, name to call yeah. it. I didn't know what it was. You so know? That's, 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 that's another thing. Yeah. Nobody can teach you how to hear God. God, yes. It is God himself that's communicates with you yes nobody can lay your, lay hands on you so that you can start hearing god oh, yeah? what anybody will do to you is just to help you realize that hey this is god that i have been yeah. hearing yes. that's exactly what happened between eli and samuel, samuel exactly it wasn't eli that taught samuel 
to hear God. Mm. God was already speaking to Samuel. He was hearing the voice already, but mm. didn't know who was talking to See, him. Yeah. So Eli just brought that confirmation and then made him to, um, what's the word? Realize. No, no, made him okay. to acknowledge, okay, acknowledge that it is God. So he that says, when you hear that me. voice yeah. again, respond like this. Okay. And that's it. So many times you find a lot of believers who say, I don't know why God does not talk to me. Mm -hmm. But you see, when you sit down with them and begin to open up how God, God speaks, speaks yes. they will realize that I've been hearing that voice. Yes, and most times we used to call it something told <clears throat> Something me. told me, yeah. You know, that's why a lot of people, yes. you know, something was just telling me, something was just telling me. So mm -hmm. God speaks to his children. Yes. Jesus said, my sheep he hears my, my voice. voice. And, and, and amazingly, like I always tell people, you don't even have to be born again yes. to hear the voice of God. Yes. Actually, it is the, the voice, voice of God that, that will lead you, you to yes. get saved. saved. Exactly. That's just the truth. Yes. That's why you find a lot of people who they are saved, but still no relationship with, with God. God. Yeah. That's because it wasn't the voice that led them to salvation. Mm. Maybe they followed the man's voice. Mm. Maybe they followed. So this thing we talk about hearing God, mm. It's not something we, that is just for one selected few. Mm -mm. It is something that is for Everyone. everybody. Yes. And it is important. And also, you don't need to have, you don't have to fast for seven days, mm. dry fasting, mm -hmm. so that you're not here. Go God on. say, fear not, I am with you. Mm. Seven days dry fast, that's all you came up with. <laughs> no. He doesn't require you to fast to hear him. Mm. He knows. He said it. Man shall live by every, every word, word that, that proceeds, proceeds from the mouth of, of God. God. Now, if that is how God have determined for man to live, mm -hmm. then the responsibility is on him yes. to see to it that man is receiving the his supply yes. of his, his word. word on a continuous basis, basis. whether you know it or, or you not. don't know it. Yes. God being faithful on his part is supplying his word. So many times you have wanted to do something and then you will say something told, told you. Yes. That was God giving you his word so that yes. you will leave. Yes. You wanted to go somewhere, you wanted to enter that vehicle, mm -hmm. but you just felt a restraint in your spirit yeah. and, and you just turned away. Mm -hmm. And so why didn't you? I don't know. I just felt something, you know, that's the voice of God coming to you. Mm -hmm. But because you haven't been taught that that's the voice, mm -hmm. so you don't acknowledge it. And if you don't acknowledge him mm -hmm. as God, then that personal relationship will not come. Now, using your story, this is the, this is the point. The word of God was already coming to you. Yeah. God was already speaking to you. Yeah. But because you have not known him. Yeah. So you did not acknowledge, acknowledge. that voice. Yeah. Now, when you began to relate with people mm -hmm. that know God mm -hmm. and they began to share their experience with you. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why friendship matters. The yeah. kind of association yeah. you have matters a lot. Yes. If you are still wandering around in the midst of friendship, then you're in the wrong friendship. Mm. So this, be, this began, all this association, like the names you mentioned, mm. all these people began to make you see a simple relationship with God. Uh. That, that now made you to think inwards. Like, yeah, but I mean, these people don't have two heads. Mm -hmm. they, they are normal people and they can speak ah, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. The Holy, you know how people exactly. like, I mean, come That's on. Why I'm <laughs> you know? Every small thing the Holy Spirit said. I mean, why, why do people talk like the Holy Spirit is in your pocket? You know? <laughs> like, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Completely. You know, now, people have this mentality when you like spiritual people are spooky people, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of. The Holy Spirit just said, you know, somebody just said, ah, do you know what? I was just going, and the Holy Spirit just told me that I should turn. You know, to the right, and I just thought I saw just normal things. It was so so normal and ah. so real. Now, anyway, so we got to that point where yeah. the Lord now said, work. "This is it." Yes. Okay, so I'm still talking I, about work. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so on. you know, I I told you then I said, I don't know what's going to come out of it, but I just know that. This voice I've been hearing all this while that I've become confident in. I too also started saying the Holy Spirit told me. God told me. I said, God told me. 
that I should work with you. Yeah. So I am just going to stay put and just you know follow as he leads. I remember the first he, he never even used to call it salary, used to call it um is it wages? There was allowance. a word. No, I can't remember what is it called in there. Is it monthly allowance? Well, I think it was it was something like that, yeah. you know. I remember the first one. Was it even up to 10k? I can't like, remember. <laughs> it was really little. It was really little. Like what I used to do then was I'll just take out my tithe and then just kind of like spread it a little bit amongst my siblings. And then we you had taught me how to live by faith. And I was just telling God, you see, I'm just going to keep trusting keep growing in this faith work yeah. because somehow my biological father had taught us, you know, as children that he, he never used to like us asking people for anything. Content. Yes. He had taught us contentment. If he hears that maybe even when an uncle or an aunt comes to the house and, Oh, auntie, what did you bring for me? He doesn't like it. So that's why I told you then that I was tough. I felt like I was tough. I had it all together. I knew what I was doing. But the word of God also opened up to me that your toughness should be rooted in Christ. Yeah. Your confidence in life should not be rooted in oh, Any other thing anything but Christ. But yeah. Christ. So that was sure. still that confidence I had to stay put with you, work with you. It was challenging because there were times that there was nothing and I was fine. Because I was not looking at you, neither was I looking at what you were going to give me. I had learned to look at God, to trust Him, and I started having my own miracles. They just kept increasing. Yeah. Miracles in school, and then I now started having miracles outside school, and it just made the whole faith. Work I, more I remember one experience, you know, then I, I've shared this several times when, I mean, you had worked all day. And you were to leave. Yeah. And I know I was walking you down the road. Yes. yes. And then you now told me you were hungry. Mm. And sincerely, I had nothing on me that day. I remember. <laughs> so we're just walking down the road. And then you kept saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Then all of a sudden, I said, Okay, you know what? Let's go and eat. Let's go and eat. Yeah. In a restaurant. You know, yes. There was one restaurant around there. Yes. I and said, I Let's was specific as to what I wanted. Yes, you I mentioned asked you. that yes. restaurant, Afansu. Yes, they so wanted to eat Afansu. Yes. I said, okay, let's go. And then we turned around and we're just walking down the road. No money. <laughs> without a dime in my hand. And then as we're walking down the road, for some reason, <laughs> very funny, for some reason, my eyes just went straight. I can't remember how much is it was. Do we have it? Did we have a thousand naira then? Mm, I, I think it was a thousand naira. Okay. Yeah, a thousand naira on the road. I just saw it straight on the road, and I and just. Then it was a big deal to have a thousand. Naira. Yes. Yeah. I, on the road, just a thousand naira then. I just went straight, picked it up. <laughs> the Lord has supplied. Let's go and eat. That's just now, one of many testimonies. Now, now amazingly now you know someone will say how can you pick money on the road and now listen you see, when you walk by, by faith, faith. Hey. <laughs> when i said when i said let's go and eat <laughs> when i said let's go and eat i meant that literally not knowing that where is, yes. the money was going to, to come, come from, from. but mm -hmm. i just made that resolve in my heart mm -hmm. that you can't go home hungry yeah so, okay, since there's a place to eat, let's go there. Mm -hmm. And that's another level of... Blind, I used to call it blind trust. Like, just trust God. And then, the Lord, now you want to tell me that it's not the Lord that kept that money on the road. <laughs> it, 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 no, it doesn't matter what anybody has to say. Now, of course, today I'm not going around looking for money mm -hmm. to pick on the road. <laughs> you know, and it's that, not even like and, we were looking for money. We were not. We're we're not no, we're not looking it's for money like on the road. It's like your eyes were open. It was just... When, the, when I saw that... There was just a click in my spirit that that's that's yours. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yours. You know, remember when Jesus was it? Uh, Jesus needed money mm. to pay for task, and it was the mouth of a fish. He told Peter, go. "Yes, that he, brought he, him." I've always said this. Yes. it would have been easier to say, "Go catch 
a, 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 a fish, fish sell, sell it, it in the market and, and pay for the money. and pay for our tax. Yes, yes. But he said, open the mouth, you will mm -hmm. see money in the mouth mm -hmm. of a fish. Mm -hmm. Fish don't carry mm -hmm. money. So that was a strange place to find money. Mm -hmm. ah, that's, that's, well, that's You know, that, that, that um, story about Jesus, for me, then I used to tell God, you say, you know, I used to tell God that even if it will take a dog to come and drop money at my feet, I will never be stranded. Yeah. Sure. So I wasn't even, it was, you know, well, the thing with faith is that you will never say you are used to a process. Yeah. So when our eyes was, when your eyes was open to see the money, we just knew that this was the That's provision, the provision that we needed God. for that day. Yes. And we ate well. Well. <laughs> well. You know, so, well, that was now. Now, all these things unconsciously, we were building, building our lives of faith, faith and dependence in God, God. Yes. unconsciously. You see, we'll round off with this. How can I be a good husband? Or how can I be a good wife? Very simple. Be a good Christian. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say be a good Christian, I'm not saying go to church all the time. The mm -hmm. church door is open. Mm -hmm. um, wake up in the morning and pray. Mm -hmm. No, those things you will do as a good Christian. Mm -hmm. But being a good Christian is first and foremost coming to that place where you literally recognize God God's as your father. father. And then enjoy, make up your mind to enjoy the fatherhood, the fatherhood yes. of God. God. It's not something that is somewhere in our mind that mm -hmm. we, God. Mm -hmm. No, no, this is a literal. Now, if he is your father, you trust him for wisdom. Mm -hmm. You trust him for direction. Mm -hmm. you, trust, so you live a life where it is so easy. Now, it, just like you meet a, a lady who's, who's from a rich family. Mm -hmm. It will be smelling her all yes, around her. Yes. She doesn't have to be proud. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The kind of bags, she, the kind of clothes she wear, mm -hmm. they will all smell wealth. Mm -hmm. It's not her fault. Mm -hmm. Now, because she's from that family, it's rubbing off on, on her. her. Now, if you are a child of God, there are some things you will smell. Mm -hmm. There are there are some things you do. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you will smell fit. Yes. <laughs> it it will flow naturally. naturally. Why? Not because you're trying to pump it up. If you're always trying to pump up faith, pump up faith, pump, you're, you're like an outsider. Yeah. If, it's, if you belong to that family, that, that's where you need to groom yourself yes. into receiving God as your father. Yes. Now, when that happens with you, certain things will just become natural in your life. Every detail will be important to you. You won't take anything It will just flow Every naturally. step of your life. So that's how God was building us up unconsciously. You know, that's why I talk about the details. Yeah. God was in the details. God is still in the details. And if you allow him, he's still in the process of being in the details in everybody's life. Just like he was in our lives. Like we cannot just say, oh, we are having a good marriage without telling you the details. That's the details. <laughs> it's good. Yes. Now, now, coming up from that foundation yeah. until we got to this point where god now said okay son that's your wife mm -hmm. now i'm trusting god will go into that uh, you're so eager to go into this that's your because <laughs> <laughs> that's another journey like this is the before now, that's another journey praise god now of we course because of because of this, because of God's time <laughs> We have to stop. See, I just got to this. I, I totally love details. My Praise goodness. God will help us. He will. He will. <laughs> sure, sure, he will. Praise God. So, now, we're going to continue on Monday. And, please, I always say this. The purpose of this is to inspire you. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are in life right now. Mm. Don't look at us and say, wow, I wish... I, I had that kind of foundation. No, no, no. You can start building yours right yeah. now. And this same God will help you. Amen. And I believe also, because if you're a child of God, there are things God is doing in your life already yes. that you may not even know. You yes. don't even relate it. Yes. Well, he's doing it already. Yes. Yes. And then by the time, in the fullness of time, mm -hmm. you will look back and say, and see that God has been there. 
in that details, yes. just like we're sharing yes. all these details. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wow. Can we can we just just can you just bless? Mm. Father, you, we Jesus. give you praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much for being our story. Thank you for being a detailed God. Thank you for process of growth, of faith, of love, of trust. Father, for everyone that is watching yes, and Lord. listening. Yes. Lord. Thank you because you, you have their story already. Yes. And they will begin to realize it in his depth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. your voice will become more real to anyone that may be doubting your, your love or your fatherhood. Thank you. Lord. Because of our story, my God, it's not about us. It's about you. Let Jesus become real Amen. to everyone listening and watching those that already have a personal relationship with you i know that you will still come true for them in several ways even as a listener and watch us my god thank you lord god because even as you are sharing our testimony today so would they also share the details of their work with you yes in yes. the mighty name of our lord Amen. jesus christ so you'll be all the glory and thank all the adoration you. Thank you, we lord. do not take this glory unto ourselves yes we return it to you yes lord. thank you thank you for being our father in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ Amen. 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 Hallelujah. praise god Hallelujah. have a best weekend ever We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.